In the north of the Gaza Strip, the Israelis launched another series of strikes on the capital of the Palestinian enclave. Strikes were reported almost all over the city. More than a hundred people were killed. At the same time, the Israel Defense Forces continued their operation in Jabalia, the largest satellite town of Gaza. The Israelis undermined buildings, actively using remote-controlled armored vehicles. While on patrol, a group of Israeli soldiers were ambushed by Palestinian militias. A number of Israelis were injured and the rest retreated to their original positions. In response to the incident, IDF units detained several dozen people who had remained in the locality. All of them were accused of links to Hamas and taken to an unknown destination. In the central part of the Gaza Strip, Israeli forces worked on Hamas-controlled localities. As usual, Nusayrat and Burej came under concentrated fire. In turn, Palestinian militias launched several strikes on IDF positions in the Netzarim corridor. However, judging by the absence of reports of evacuation helicopters flying over, such attacks proved fruitless. In the south of the enclave, Israeli launched airstrikes on Khan Yunus, Al-Fukari, and the surrounding areas. Despite the constant bombardment, hundreds of thousands of local residents remain in the towns. At the same time, engineering work was underway in Rafa along the entire so-called Philadelphia Corridor. At the same time, there have been virtually no shootings in the locality over the past week. Israeli security forces have conducted several major operations in the West Bank. In total, more than 11,700 people have been detained in the Palestinian Authority since the beginning of the escalation. During the raids in Tulkarm, Nablus and Tubas, there were shootings with local militants. In response to resistance, the Israelis demolished several houses where relatives of the militants lived. To the south of the autonomy, a similar operation took place in the small Arab settlement of Umm al-Hiran in the Negev Desert. There, Israeli security forces demolished a mosque, declaring it an illegal structure. The ground phase of Operation Arrows of the north continued for the seventh week on the Lebanese-Israeli border. The greatest IDF advance was reported in the central sector, where fighting began over Bint Jebel. Golani Brigade soldiers were ambushed by Hezbollah members who were using underground passages. Six Israeli soldiers were killed and four others were wounded. The Israeli Air Force's massive strikes on Lebanon's rear localities continued unabated. A series of strikes were launched on the southern suburbs of Beirut, including the vicinity of the local airport. Meanwhile, Hezbollah responded by launching rockets at IDF border facilities. Several attempts were also made to attack the center of Israel, but they were unsuccessful.